Hey guys, I know they say lighting is everything. <laughs> Look at me, I am forced. Let me show you something. I am forced to sit in my garage, my garage, to send you this video. And the reasons for that are because my wife is at school. Uh, my dog, Jack, won't leave me alone. I can't go outside. I was going to go sit in his lawn chair outside and do this. I can't do it because he wants to eat the painting I want to show you. Or he starts eating rocks or he starts slobbering on me or he starts barking. I can't do it. I can't do it in the house because if I leave him outside, he starts barking. If I have him inside with me, he's getting into everything. He's trying to eat my underwear. He's trying to eat my shirt. I'm trying to eat my hat. He's going in the garbage cans. He's trying to get himself in the sink. Unbelievable. Anyway, the reason I'm here is because uh, Manic Mark over on YouTube, if you're not familiar with uh, Manic Mark, please go check him out. He's got great artwork, great music, great reviews on old albums, fantastic cool videos. Uh, first, Mark, I want to apologize to you because in my latest podcast, uh, I put some clips of you in there, and I was referring to you as Maniac Mark. And although I think in some of your videos, Maniac <laughs> might be appropriate, um, everybody, he's not Maniac Mark. You want to search for Manic Mark. Manic Mark on YouTube. Great stuff. Go check him out. So he's inspired me to put some of my artworks online, which I've never done, because this whole video thing can be uh, a little cumbersome and, and a little time-consuming. And between the podcast and doing the artwork and working full-time and the wife and the dog, I, I don't have much time. So anyway... What I'm going to show you now is my latest artwork. So I'm going to try. Can I, I can't do the camera flippy thing. So hang on, I got to pause this for a minute and flippy the camera around and and show you the artwork. Hang on. Okay, so here it is. This is my uh, one of my newest paintings that I did for the art club that I'm in. And um, each month is a different theme in the art club. Uh, the theme for this month was called hummus and pita chips. So you say to yourself, well, Wayne, what, what the hell does this dead guy have to do with hummus and pita chips? Well, um, you are listening to a guy who's got the taste buds of about an 8 to 12-year-old. Uh, I am very kind of, hmm, uh, simplistic in my food tastes. I like food tastes <laughs> and my speech. I like uh, meat and potatoes, basically. So hummus, I've tried it. It doesn't work out. Anyway... Um, what this painting represents is the fact that my entire life, and I'm going on 42 years old soon, um, I've had people asking me, hey, why don't you try this? Eat this, eat that, try this, try that. I'm telling you, you're going to like it. Uh, why don't you eat salad? Well, you know what? I've been, along, I've been alive long enough that I've tried most things several times. And I know if I like it or I don't like it, and people don't want to listen to me. So this painting represents my frustration, 40-somewhat uh, years of life, and people not listening to me and insisting if I try it again or if I make it this way or if I try theirs magically I'm gonna like it so my painting is the culinary casualty which would be me I suppose <laughs> uh, I didn't realize till after I finished this exactly um, uh, I don't know it's, it's gonna be probably a little grainy in here because well this isn't a great camera and I have the lights off uh, but the background turned out to be black and blue which was not, you know, none of this, it just, it just kind of came about. Um, I had a black and blue background. I stenciled on the eat this, eat that, try this, try that, would be the, uh, the second layer. And uh, the blue in the background, I actually found some uh, Halloween netting. It's supposed to look like, I don't know, creep, some kind of creepy netting that you could hang up or put over trees or on your walls or something. I put the netting over the canvas and then sprayed the blue through it. So you can't see it on the video, but it's got a really kind of cool pattern to it. Um, so the third layer was the, um, or the second layer, I should say, was the words. Uh, the third layer, then for some reason, I decided to do the blood, blood spatters for some reason. Uh, followed off with the next layer, the outline of the dead guy, although some people interpreted it as, as me running away, which, which it could be too. Looks like a guy running. And then the, um, the yellow banners, which were originally going to be like those caution police do not cross tapes where I put in a uh, culinary casualty because my wife said, nah, don't, don't do, don't do uh, caution. You know, it's too, too stereotypical, so to speak. Um, so that's it. I'm not sure if this represents me uh, killing myself or just 
feeling dead from repeating myself over and over for 40 years, or if this is a representation of all the people that have hounded me over that time and wanted me to try new foods. But anyway, uh, that's my painting, a culinary casualty, and uh, I'll see you again uh, during the next one. So hey, I'm back. That is the end of the uh, culinary casualty painting. I'm trying to hold it up to give you a perspective on, on size. I don't know what size this canvas is. I don't know. It's, it's a good size though, as you can see. Uh, if anybody out there is interested in trading artworks, I am currently about to set up my own um, art studio slash craft room in the house, and I'm going to be hanging up some of my stuff, some of my wife's stuff, some of my daughter's stuff, and I would love to hang up some of your stuff. So if you've got anything out there that you want to, uh, to trade or swap with me, uh, let me know. This painting will be available um, real soon. <laughs> I have to bring it to one more art club meeting uh, because we're, we're gathering everything together in one room. But uh, if you're interested, let me know, people. See you next time.